And do it five, breathing new life into the McGuffey Center. Here's WKBN Community Affairs Director Dee Crawford. There's exciting news going on in the neighborhood, and my guest today is Cheryl McRae, who's on the board of McGuffey Center with some exciting news that will be taking place very soon. Thank you for joining me. Thank Good you for having you, me. Good to see you, Cheryl. Good to see you all. McGuffey Center, for so long, people have wondered what's going on, what happened to. Share some of that with us before we talk about the event. Okay. Uh, McGuffey Center has a long history on the sharing line. It was started by Mrs. Bertie Welcher um, back in the late 20s. So um, it's, it became the heartbeat of the sharing line. It was a place for us to go as kids growing up. Um, so it was just a, a, a great opportunity to grow up in McGuffey Center, to have the opportunity to become a community. And we all felt like, like family there. When the pandemic hit, uh, the center took a toll on um, what was going on. The executive director eventually passed away. Uh, about six months after that, the CPA passed away. So they have had a new director who really was not experienced. But um, in, in the meantime, we had lost our 501c3 because taxes hadn't been filed because no one knew about it when the CPA passed away. So. We for formed a new board. Ken Perfy actually did all the work for us to get the 501c3 reinstated. That within itself is good news. Uh, for those who may not know, a lot of history there. The reason it was the Sharon Line, because that's where the old trolley used to turn around. Right. So it was called the Sharon Line. Right. They had a, a trolley car that came from Sharon, Pennsylvania, down Jacobs Road, all the way out to Lincoln Alls Plaza. So that was called the Sharon Line. Absolutely. And where McGuffey Center is located, that was Stop 27. Stop 25 also is a, a, a historical area, because that's where we ha also have festivities and everything going on every year out there. To, to, just to commemorate everybody from the Sharon Line and just have a good time and bring everybody back together. Also, for the <clears throat> historical perspective, in the past, there was a community center, which was a part of Associated Neighborhood Centers, located on every side of town, which provided activities for both children and families that were in the neighborhood. McGuffey Center is the only one through there is Associated Neighborhood Centers exist. Yes, it is. So it's important that we keep this alive. Right. So yes. you've got some events going on. Let's talk about um, Friday, September the 1st, which is a scholarship dinner, the right. Sharon Line Reunion. We're party. having our Sharon Line Reunion Labor Day weekend. September the 1st, um, we're having our scholarship dinner dance, and we're presenting the scholarship to a graduate of Austertown Fitch High School. His name is Javante Betts. He has a 3.8 grade point average. The cost for the tickets are 50, and you can call 330-774-4151. 4151, and that is my cell number. Okay, for, mm -hmm. for tickets. For tickets, right. Okay, good exciting news, but there mm -hmm. is more to come. I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.